The Department of Public Administration, in collaboration with the Ningbo Polytechnic University in China, the People's Republic of China, and the TA Marisha Community College, has created an opportunity for 30 persons to undergo the three-week training program, which will include the areas of food preparation, restaurant service and housekeeping, among others. Participants will comprise students from Tamsisi, Nulo, and members of the public. It will be facilitated by tutors from the Ningbo Polytechnic University with an aim to further develop the tourism and hospitality sector in Grenada. Minister for Tourism Lennox Andrew at the official opening of the training on Monday said the initiative is aligned with the government's transformational agenda. And that's why we take so much pride in ensuring that we educate and we develop and we make access to education as easy and as cheaply as possible so that no one is left behind when it comes to educating. For us, Grenada, Grenada must be like a big school, a big school where opportunities are available for all to be what they want to become. This is the first ever bilateral training on island facilitated by the Ningo University and more of this type of collaboration is anticipated going forward. His Excellency Wei Hong Qian, Chinese ambassador to Grenada, spoke of upcoming programs that were made possible with the collaboration of both countries. On behalf of the Chinese Embassy, I attend Warm congratulations to the commencement of this first on, on island training program of nutrition and hotel management. Another two training program which are uh, is called nursery and maternity care health care will be held in September. Another one is bamboo. Weaving te uh, techniques will be held in October this year. These two training programs are also very important. Permanent Secretary in the Department of Public Administration, Lindana Marshall, encouraged the participants to take full advantage of the training. So do your best to demonstrate interest and participate fully in all that the program has to offer. The field trip, as we mentioned, is something that we believe is going to add significant value to the program. So again, all of the holistic and comprehensive program that is before you, we encourage you to embrace all of it and ensure that the expertise and the experiences that you are going to participate in is going to add value. The 30 trainees will receive certificates at the conclusion of the training program. Ningo University is also facilitating an exchange program for Grenadians auto maintenance students. 12 students and faculty members from TAMCC's auto maintenance program will leave the island for China on Friday for additional training in their chosen field of study. GBN News, Rina Pet Thomas.